My name is uh, Jaap van Laar. I'm the editor-in-chief of Rheumatology, and um, I welcome Chris Denton. Chris Denton is a well-known expert in systemic sclerosis from the Royal Free Hospital in London. Um, Chris, you were involved in a recent paper published in Rheumatology as a co-author on 22 points to consider in scleroderma um, clinical trials. Now, we don't have time to go through 22 points, but um, I'm sure you can highlight the key points um, discussed in this paper. Thank, thank you, Yap. And yes, I think this is an important paper because it really updates clinical trial guidelines that were published many years ago for systemic sclerosis. And why that update is needed is that I think we're in an era where we better appreciate the complexity of systemic sclerosis. It's very unlikely you can have a trial template that will um, address all aspects mm. of the disease. And you also, it's a heterogeneous disease and you need to think about your target population. So these are the key points that come from the um, 22 points considered. But mm -hmm. reassuringly, the most important points are that you need prospective randomized studies with a placebo control, ideally right. to really de competently demonstrate treatment effect. And I think that we hope this article will stimulate better design of trials and also help to inform as we get trials um, completed that, that follow these points, we can further refine them. So I think this is an important um, doc, uh, article for that reason. Right. Now, uh, just in, 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 in operational um, um, points, is, is this something that needs to be um, going through ACR or EULA or BSR committees, or is this just a kind of academic uh, consensus paper? So, in fact, it was a, 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 a process that very much followed the EULA uh, uh, process for mm -hmm. developing um, points to consider um, and so I'm also very pleased that we've published it in rheumatology because um, it really I think conforms to a very high standard and it was an expert driven process 13 experts in systemic sclerosis right. trials right. Um, using a Delphi uh, approach mm. but also involving patient feedback and uh, methodological expertise so that we mm. really feel that we've got evidence-based and also expert opinion based um, uh, guidelines now and points to consider on how to, uh, you know, perform the best type of systemic sclerosis trials. Right. right. So I think it is a very timely publication. Um, you know, we have seen uh, many more trials coming through in in recent months. So uh, clearly, pharmaceutical industry is also, um, you know, in investing effort um, and, and money into this field. And um, I, I agree. I think it would be great if um, if they follow these. Um, points and um, in their discussions with um, investigators. I, th I think that's very true and I think one of the most disappointing prospects would be a promising therapy being discarded because a clinical trial had not been conducted in a robust way. So I think that's why it's particularly important as we have um, uh, an increasing number of trials being considered. Right, so good news. Um, thanks very much, Chris, for um, explaining and discussing this. and. Um, we, we, we are looking forward to new trials in the near future.